All right, let's dive into this LCX thing, huh? Cryptocurrency exchange, you said. Bridging the gap between uh, traditional finance and blockchain. Sounds like a lot to unpack. Yeah, it's pretty interesting stuff. See, most exchanges, they're just focused on buying and selling crypto, right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, that sort of thing. Like a digital stock market, kind of? Exactly. But LCX, they're aiming to be different, trying to bridge that gap, like you said, bringing in serious investors, the ones a little wary of the whole wild west of crypto. Makes sense. I mean, regulation is still a bit of a question mark in the crypto world, right? Huge question mark. But that's where LCX is trying to set themselves apart. They're already what's called MICA ready. MICA ready. Okay, <laughs> you're going to have to break that down for me. It stands for Markets in Crypto Assets. Basically, it's the European Union stepping in, laying down some ground rules for cryptocurrency. Ah, so like bringing some law and order to the digital frontier. Exactly. And LCX being mic ready, it shows they're serious, not afraid of regulation, which is a big deal for traditional finance. So they're attracting investors who want to dip their toes in the crypto waters, but uh, want to do it safely. Exactly. They want that security, that transparency, and LCX is offering it. Interesting. And they chose kind of an interesting place to do it too, right? Liechtenstein? Yeah, Liechtenstein's actually becoming quite the hub for blockchain and fintech companies. It's small, sure, but they're really proactive about fostering innovation. Like a little uh, a little tech haven tucked away. Something like that. They're definitely punching above their weight in the crypto world. Gotta respect that. So, Mike ready, crypto-friendly nation. Seems pretty strategic, right? Absolutely. And I think that's a big reason why they're reportedly growing so quickly. This combo of innovation and regulation, it's appealing, it, especially to bigger investors, institutional investors, the ones who've been hesitant about crypto in the past. Right, right. Too much volatility, not enough oversight, all that. Exactly. But LCX, they're trying to change that perception. Okay, hold, hold up. Before we go too far down that road, which, by the way, we will definitely circle back to because I want to hear more about that. But your notes mentioned something about uh, tokenized diamonds. That sounds like something out of a Bond film. It does have a certain ring to it, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's actually a fascinating concept. Basically, you're taking ownership of an asset, in this case a diamond, and dividing it into digital tokens. It makes investing in something like a diamond much more accessible. And that's where LCX comes in. They've developed a platform called TO Man specifically for trading these tokenized diamonds. Wow. So they're not just bridging the gap between traditional finance and blockchain. They're bringing diamonds into the mix. They are. And it's not just about diamonds, really. It's about showing what blockchain can do, how it can change the way we invest in any asset, potentially. Okay. I think I'm falling. So bigger picture, we could be talking about like owning a fraction of Picasso yeah. or or a vintage car. Exactly. Things that used to be out of reach for most investors. Tokenization could change all that. Diamonds. Super valuable, but not easy to trade. Can't just cash them in like gold. Tokenization on time IDs changes that. Makes diamonds more liquid. Easier to buy, easier to sell. Opens up the market. So it's like taking something exclusive and making it available to a much wider pool of investors. I like that. And because it's all tracked on the blockchain, you get that extra layer of security. You know it's legit. So it's like having a digital certificate of authenticity for your little piece of the diamond, forever recorded on the secure ledger that everyone can see. Pretty smart. But hold on, where are these diamonds actually kept? Are they like floating around in the digital ether or something? Not quite. LCX is serious about security. From what I've read, the physical diamonds are locked up tight. High security vault somewhere in the Swiss mountains. Insurance by Lloyds of London. Legal protection under Liechtenstein lie. They're not messing around. Okay, diamonds on the blockchain. I'm sold. Wild. All right, so we've got LCX shaking things up, bringing in traditional investors, tokenizing diamonds. But who are the minds behind all of this? Every good revolution needs its leaders, right? So we've got LCX shaking things up, bringing in traditional investors, tokenizing diamonds. But who are the minds behind all of this? Every good revolution needs its leaders, right? Absolutely. And LCX has got a pretty interesting one at the helm, Monty Metzger, the founder. He's not just some tech guy who stumbled onto something. This is a serial entrepreneur. Started his first company way back when he was still in school. Wow. Okay, so we're talking like real entrepreneurial spirit from the get-go. Oh, yeah. The guy's ambitious. But here's the thing that I find really interesting. He's got this background in venture capitalism. So he knows what it takes to build something successful, to spot potential, right? Exactly. This isn't just some tech play for him. This is about disrupting the future of finance, the whole landscape. He's playing the long game. Mm -hmm. And I'm guessing he didn't surround himself with 
you know, amateurs for this. Not at all. Their team is stacked with people who really know their stuff. And then they've got advisors like Don Tapscott. Whoa, Don Tapscott. Like the Don Tapscott, the blockchain expert. Of the one and only. Okay, that's a pretty big name to have in your corner. That says something right there. It definitely adds some weight to their mission, right? Having someone like him backing them up. For sure. It's like, you know when you were a kid and you had a bake sale and the principal came by and bought a cookie? That's Don Tapscott showing up for LCX. Perfect analogy. But, you know, it goes beyond just the big names and the fancy titles. There's this underlying philosophy at play here, something I found really interesting. Remember how we were talking about bridging the gap, bringing traditional finance and blockchain together? Yeah, yeah. Well, there are some interesting parallels to someone like Jimmy Wales. Jimmy Wales? Yeah. Like Wikipedia Jimmy Wales. Yep. Their values, they kind of align in a way. Okay, I'm not seeing it yet, but I'm intrigued. What do a cryptocurrency exchange and Wikipedia have in common? Think about it. Both of them, in their own ways, they're all about decentralization, right? Right. Transparency, open access, empowering individuals. You're right. Wikipedia democratized information, and LCX wants to do the same for finance and investment. Exactly. Two different playing fields, same underlying ethos. And that shared ethos, I think, is a powerful thing, especially in a world or a market, I guess, that often feels, well, kind of exclusive. A little bit like a closed club, you're saying. Yeah. And LCX wants to open the doors. Something like that. But anyway, we've talked a lot about LCX, their mission, their team, even their philosophy. But let's bring it back down to earth for a second. Why should our listeners actually care about any of this? Right, right. So big picture time. Why does any of this matter? Why should our listeners care about LCX and their tokenized diamonds and all that? Because LCX isn't just some, you know, flash in the pan. They represent something bigger. This whole idea of blockchain going mainstream, becoming respectable, I guess. And that's not easy in the financial world. It's tough crap. Exactly. But LCX is showing that it's possible. You can have this cutting edge tech, this new way of doing things, but do it within the rules, within the system. So working with the regulators, not against them. Exactly. And that could be huge. If they succeed, well, it could change the whole game. And if they fail, well, others might think twice before trying something similar. High stakes. Yeah. No pressure. LCX. Yeah. But OK, we've talked about diamonds. <laughs> You were hinting at something even bigger, though, right? This tokenization thing going beyond just sparkly rock. Oh, absolutely. Think about it. What have you always wanted to invest in, but it seemed impossible? Hmm. Besides a winning lottery ticket. Laughs. <laughs> right. Besides that. But seriously, things that seemed out of reach. A piece of famous artwork, maybe? Or prime real estate? That vineyard in Tuscany you always dreamed of. Okay, now you're speaking my language. But those things are usually reserved for, you know, the ultra-wealthy. Exactly. But tokenization... That could change everything. So it's like democratizing investing, mm. making it accessible to everyone. That's the idea. And LCX, they're on the leading edge of it, figuring out how to make it work, how to bring those opportunities to the masses. I'm getting the feeling that we're just scratching the surface here. Like this is just the beginning of something massive. Oh, without a doubt. The blockchain revolution, it's still in its early stages. But companies like LCX, they're the ones writing the rules, shaping the future. It's exciting. Exciting and maybe a little bit terrifying all at the same time. Maybe a little, but that's how you know it's important. And that's why we're here, right? To keep you informed, to keep you thinking. To help you navigate this crazy, constantly changing world. Exactly. Well, on that note, I think we've given our listeners a lot to chew on today. We've explored the innovative world of LCX, a company aiming to bridge the gap between traditional finance and the evolving landscape of blockchain technology. From their strategic positioning as a micro-ready exchange to their ventures into the world of tokenized assets, LCX is certainly pushing boundaries and sparking important conversations about the future of investment and ownership. We'll be keeping a close eye on their journey, and as always, we encourage you to dive deeper into these topics and explore the vast potential of this groundbreaking technology. Until next time.